This is DVD Future Audio Video Reviews. The film we'll be reviewing is Hubble 3D. The film is directed and produced by Tony Myers. It's being distributed by Warner Brothers and is currently playing in select theaters. The film is rated G and running time is roughly 43 minutes. The particular version of Hubble 3D I saw was actually not in 3D. It played at the Omnimax Theater in Cleveland. The film will be opening in Cleveland on March 19th. Personally, I like the Omnimax Theater. I think it's a a, a gorgeous theater with just a a brilliant setup. However, I feel a little bit frustrated that the Omnimax Theater exists instead of an IMAX Theater. Because we don't have an IMAX Theater in the area, we never get to see IMAX releases like the most recent Avatar release, The Dark Knight, or even things like Alice in Wonderland. Unfortunately, all we get are educational documentaries, which I'm not opposed to. Uh, I just wish uh, Cleveland uh, would be uh, open to the idea of having an IMAX theater in the area. But that's a little bit of a local complaint, so back to the movie review. Hubble 3D is a documentary detailing the wonderful discoveries the Hubble telescope has made over the years. But it's also a film about the men and women, the astronauts, the scientists, the technicians, who work behind the scenes to bring this majestic telescope to life from fixing it to updating it so that we may further our knowledge of the vast space beyond our own. In short, Hubble 3D is an extraordinary movie. It's incredibly moving, it's marvelously composed, the cinematography is gorgeous, it's enveloping, it's immersive, and in some ways it's spiritually invigorating. The images from Hubble are are absolutely breathtaking. They they fill the screen with, with beautiful imagery. You get to see a world that is so far beyond our own and beyond our own comprehension. You feel small yet so connected to it all while watching the film. This is a movie that is is filled with wonder and awe. I was amazed by what I saw and the sharp imagery that the Hubble telescope brought to life. I, I never imagined that a telescope could shoot this far away and get images this clear, this perfect, this pristine. But the film shows you that that, that's a possibility, that this happens, that this telescope that's often seen as this sort of urban legend that it it never works, it really does. And and it's it's an amazing piece of equipment. Uh, The photos you're seeing in this review, all of the images of space have been shot by the Hubble telescope. These are the images that we see through its eye. And this is a wonderful eye. This is an eye that sees far beyond our own. And to say that Hubble 3D is breathtaking is almost an understatement. It's, it's more than that. It's a better movie than that. Now, unfortunately, there are some flaws. I would be remiss if I didn't mention them. Unfortunately, Leonardo DiCaprio's narration isn't the best. His slight speech impediment can be a bit grating, particularly during the beginning of the movie, when he really doesn't even seem interested in the project in the first place. It seems as though he was hired because of his Infinite Universe speech from Danny Boyle's The Beach, but honestly, someone like Gary Sinise or Tom Hanks Someone who's worked in the field of space exploration and done a film in that in that regard probably would have worked a little bit better. Also, some of the home video footage was a bit dizzying at times. They shot several bits of home video footage in standard definition and then upconverted them to the IMAX format. This all really does result in a pretty messy, grainy, uh, distorted visual experience that when you're watching it on such a big screen can be a bit dizzying. Thankfully, there isn't a whole lot of it, but it does consume a large portion of the final act of the of the documentary, and it, it is a bit tiresome and dizzying to watch. Despite the flaws, however, Hubble 3D is an amazing movie, and really, the flaws are pretty trivial in the grand scheme of things. The film is, is gorgeous. It's an amazing movie to watch, and it's a lot of fun. Space nuts are going to love it. Sci-fi nuts are going to love it. Even people who are potentially a little bit spiritual are going are gonna to like this film. It's a very, very invigorating film in that regard. And bring the kids. They're going to love it too. They're, they're probably, you're probably going to wind up having some space nuts at the end of the film. It's that convincing. It's that beautiful. It's that fun. So my recommendation is see this one when it comes to town. It's not, in, it's not everywhere just yet. It will be arriving. It's arriving, as I said, in Cleveland on March 19th. It'll be arriving in theaters throughout the spring. See it when you get a chance. Entertainment value, I'm giving this one an A. Film value, I'm giving this one an A. And the final grade for this film is an A.